Okay, Eddie, how are you? Very good. My friend Eddie, from, uh, he's from Chile, but he lives in California. And we just had an EV experience in Chile. And that's right. Uh, so let's talk about that. We came uh, with a Jayco 6. Well, you, you never knew about it, right? Because no. Chinese uh, cars that you don't see in California. In California, there's none of them. Okay. So we came up last Monday, and uh, no, t Tuesday morning, I'm sorry. And we had 100% of the battery charge and a range of 420 kilometers. And the distance was only 150 kilometers. But we got back with only 19%, like 80 kilometers yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, only 80 kilometers left. Yeah. So you have a Ford Maquis, right, at home? That's right. Yeah. And um, an electric Ford Maquis. You have more experience actually than me because I just drive the cars occasionally. <laughs> But you drive them pretty much every day, I guess, right? Yes, it's my wife's everyday car. Yeah, but she lets me drive it once in a while. Yeah, <laughs> and you were telling me on the way up how, at the very beginning, the rate the reading, the, the official rating was what, three ten, I think. Yeah, three ten is uh, when we received it. It was fully charged, three hundred twelve miles uh, radius. So we used it a few times. We charge it, recharge it, and all of a sudden I noticed that the uh, range went down to 280 and then I used it again and it went so down you will, to... you will charge it to 100, 100% and it lost like 30% of the range. Yeah. 30 miles of the range. So I thought I was going to get a new car because <laughs> I was going to return it, you know, yeah. a bad battery or something. But they explained to me that the cars are very smart and they adjust for your type of driving. So once I slow down <laughs> and I start using the one pedal. Because because it's tempting with the electric, right? Like yeah, go fast, quickly. Go fast, it's quiet, it has a great pickup. And so I was driving it a little too fast. It was a new car too, so yeah. well, I was and it's a must. So it's a, uh, it's a Mustang, so that's why you wanted to go fast. Exactly, so as soon as we adjusted my driving especially, it went back up to the 310 uh, miles radius with a hundred percent charge. Yeah. So now you drive it normally, and like that's what you get. And you, how long you had it? We have it two years now, full two years. Maybe we're going on to our third year, and it's it's fun to drive, and I like to play with the mileage. So oh, like, it's like leave, a challenge. Yeah. It's a challenge. If I leave with 150 miles, I try to return with 150 miles, but you know, in the way back or in the way out, try to use the uh, the recharging the uh, yeah the one pedal the one pedal, and I usually can get pretty close to about the same mileage, and sometimes I can get a little extra. Oh wow, that's amazing. Yep. So, and that's the thing about electric cars. I always try to tell people, you have to learn exactly. to live with it. It's not like you just go from a gas car and pretend that everything's going to be fine because it's not going to be that fine, right? No, no. I mean, it's, it's going to be fine, but it's not going to be the same experience. That's what I was trying to say. Yes, and, and it's not as bad as people think that you're going to be stranded, you know. Sometimes we, we, our first trip, we took it to Mammoth. That that's about uh, 400 miles, so it was over the range, and we thought, uh, well, well, we'll stop one time for lunch and charge it. And, but uh, I also was going 75, 80 miles an hour <laughs> in the freeway, <laughs> and uh, we had to charge it twice. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, that so now you know, like yeah. the next time you plan, you plan yeah. to to trip to Mammoth. Okay, we're gonna yeah. stop twice because yeah. I wanna go fast and I wanna uh, uh, or adjust the speed, you know, exactly. drive 65 instead of 80. So now, how would you compare your experience with your Ford Maquis with this uh, Jayco now that you've been on it? Um, well, not all this week because we drove up and then the car sat there for like three days. By the way, the Ski Portillo Resort just installed two level two chargers and uh, we didn't have the proper cable. So that's why we have to charge it with the normal cable. We took basically the three and a half days that we were here but we got it so yeah. there's always a solution it's always a solution yeah so how do you compare the experience from the when we came up and now that we're going down yeah it was a little scary watching the <laughs> mileage go down so quickly, quickly. yeah but uh being able to charge it 
even to a normal plug without a charger, uh, it, it was a great experience. I mean, at least we had that, and we have a the great car, guy there that helped us. Oh yeah, Pablo, Pablo and, uh, there. Super great staff, nice. super nice over there. And but the car, it performs really well. It has a lot of pickup, and also at the beginning we were coming pretty fast. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So we'll see it. Um, once we slow down, probably we slow down the uh, consumption of the mileage. But. And that's the other thing that um, these official numbers for the range. Are an estimate and then all the um, circumstances of the road the weather the, the cargo actually the car how much weight do you have in the car uh, how much AC you use so everything affects and as Eddie was saying like you have to learn and like yes. after a while you will be able to manage it and um, so now we're going down we left like 10 minutes ago or so but we're going downward so we started at 100%, 420, one, and we are now at 99, 420. So we lost one percentage and one kilometer of range. And we have traveled probably, what, five? Five, yeah, probably, yeah. So uh, uh, the way down is gonna be completely different from the performance we got on the way up. So we're gonna keep going down because there's a lot of fog and a lot of traffic, as he was saying. There's This is, by the way, the international way from Chile to Argentina and Brazil and Paraguay and other places here in South America so this is in this part of Chile at least this is the main way because this goes down to Santiago the capital so it's very busy and when the storm came like last week and they were telling us what five hours some people yeah. were saying yeah so um, we're gonna go down and uh, when we reach Santiago in about two hours we'll give you a Nothing. final report yeah on this uh Jaico 6 experience from santiago to portillo okay eddie we're basically back in the city we're still uh, 20 miles away but we made through the rough part of it and uh it's amazing we have 76 percent very different experience that going up so how would you compare to your own experience as a EV driver or a normal EV driver? Yeah, no, it's been great. The car is smooth and uh, uh, the consumption has been very, very nice. We haven't used much power at all in this hour or so that it took us to get down. So this is actually almost accurate to the kilometer number because now we're that we're in the flats. Basically have covered the distance that the car is telling us and uh, we have no issues. So, final question. If this car were available in the US, would you replace your Mackie with this one? I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For the price. This is exactly. like 30,000. How much can, was yours? I can, mine was 60. Woo! So I could sell mine and buy a brand new one. And or have two. Money. Yeah. <laughs> I have money in, extra. in the bank. Yeah. Well, okay. So, nice uh thank you for coming with me that made the trip much more enjoyable we have a beautiful trip yeah we had a really good skiing days and now we're going to ski more so <laughs> stay tuned for that bye, bye.